We live in a setting of unlimited resources. We are unconstrained. We have the tools, the mechanisms, the scientific understanding, the technological capability to achieve almost anything. And we just need to get about understanding that we're not a small, isolated, rural, poor planet. It's time to break out. Back in 2016, Michael Crow asked me to come see him in his office. It showed up on my calendar, Michael Crow, no agenda, no topic. Oh my God. <laughs> And it turns out he wants to start this initiative. So he says to me, Lindy, not enough interdisciplinary work is being done on the future of humans in space. And we can uniquely do that here at ASU. We could be the thought leaders about the future of humans in space. Go do it. Psyche is the name of both our spacecraft and an asteroid on the outer main belt that's also named Psyche. We're going to send this robot out past Mars with a gravity assist out through the asteroid belt to start orbiting this asteroid psyche. It'll be the first time that humans have ever investigated a body made largely of metal. Because we mainly go to things that are made of rock or ice or gas. I love space and I love telling people about how I love space. Space is scary. It's never ending. There's a thousand possibilities that you can do with it, and there's a thousand ways to be involved. I didn't have that moment when I was 10, and I just knew I needed to explore space. I've had a curvy career path. I worked in business for eight years. I was a lecturer before I went back for my doctorate. When I was 31, I was a single mother. And I never really had a long-term plan. It was really what is great to do right now. In 2011, we started thinking about this mission, and we went through the proposal process and the competition process, and we were selected for flight in 2017. Launch in 2022, arrive at Psyche in 2026, and do 21 months of science, and then all the additional science that goes on after that. This absolutely will be the major project of my life. For me, it's special because it was born out of Lindy's idea. It kind of opened up my eyes to the fact that I don't have to worry about my path. She's just become a, a huge idol for me. She's the PI of a NASA mission, which was the last thing she expected to happen for herself. I'd like to say that space exploration is like a, a vast, unpopulated plane, like the surface of the moon. And on the one side, you've got NASA and SpaceX and Blue Origin and the European Space Agency, and you've got nothing like craters, rocks, and over here, some visionary sci-fi writers. And we got to populate that plane with philosophers and artists and policymakers and people who write laws and we need thinkers in there and doers and makers of every different kind. ASU being such a large university, it's really taking advantage of all the artists that we have on campus and all the filmmakers and all of the computer programmers who can make art of a Mars map and can show maybe what it's like to walk on Mars. ASU is taking all of the backgrounds that we have and expanding it to be more than just an engineering background where you're sending something to space. ASU is using everyone on campus to bring space to ASU. The simplest way to express what it's like to come and work at ASU and compare it to how you feel when you work at other academic institutions is that this is a yes organization and most academic institutions are no organizations. Here, people really try to say yes. If you come up with an innovation, you're gonna try something, you're gonna experiment, you're gonna push the boundary, you're gonna see if it works, people try to say yes. I guess the biggest thing is like, my journey has been very unpredictable and I've gone from being like this most fearful little freshman to designing instruments on space telescopes. It's been really exciting and I could not have predicted this five years ago and I don't think I could have done this anywhere else except for here at ASU. The things that I care the most about are creating teams that are incredibly high functioning based on topics that people feel passionate about. And it turns out space exploration is fantastic for that because it fires everybody's imagination. We have the capacity to create. 
We have the capacity to create ideas, to create concepts. We have the capacity to go anywhere, to do anything. And I think that's what we've tried to build as a university that helps in making that happen.